All right, Mrs. Bird is the uh, the grill master for today's video because nobody handles a sausage like she does. Adam. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just getting out of my system before the video starts. All right, we're gonna have some uh, some fun to. Great start, man. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have some uh, some fun today. It's been a while since Mrs. Beard and I had an eat off, and it seems to be something that people request every single week. And today being the fifth of July, seemed like the perfect time. It's not really the fifth of July. But when you watch the video, it'll be the 5th of July, meaning that yesterday was... The 4th of July? And for competitive eaters, it goes without saying that that is the mo arguably the most important day of the year because that's the day of, you guessed it, the biggest professional eating contest on Earth. Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest. You might have heard me mention it just a few times. Only a few. 30,000 people in the crowd broadcast to millions on ESPN and last year, BT Sport. Ooh. None of my family actually watched, but it was on BT Sport. And what surprised me, it's like $10,000 or something? Something like that, Something yeah. like that. <laughs> and uh, if you've been watching the channel for, what, a year or slightly more, you'll know all about it because last year, 2019, I became the first British bloke to uh, to qualify on um, American soil and make it to the, uh, the finals at Coney Island, where I did... I did pretty terrible. So I was hoping to make it back there uh, this year, but of course coronavirus happened and although the contest is still going forth in 2020, Joey Chestnut's going to be there to uh, to defend his belt, but there's no crowd, no Matt Stoney, no Michelle Lesko. I don't even think your, uh, your mate Badlands is going to be there. Yeah, he is. He's rapping. Oh, is he rapping? Rap! <laughs> That's the only rap thing I know. So I couldn't be there. But we couldn't let this uh, this sacred day pass without eating some hot dogs. And as you can see here, Mrs. Beard has cooked up 32 hot dogs, which incidentally is um, is my, my personal best in 10 minutes there. You might be able to see by the very <laughs> nice Nathan's jersey back there. Uh, and we're gonna have a little head to head. And of course, Lindsay's not gonna be able to eat as many as I can eat, but we can still make it a pretty interesting contest. What we're gonna say is, if Mrs. Beard can eat more than the lowest total number of hot dogs eaten by the last place female competitor, <laughs> that was a long sentence, at last year's Nathan's, which is six hot dogs and buns, of course, then she wins. If she can do that before I eat the remaining 26. Easy. That sounds fair enough, right? Yeah. I think that'll make it a contest. So without further ado, this is Beard Mixed Food and Mrs. Beard and actually, no, wait. We need some kind of uh, wager, like, if I lose, what, what do you win? Don't say the baby, don't say the baby, don't say the baby. A baby? No deal. <laughs> <laughs> You've been bugging me about a baby for ages. I managed to avoid it for like five years. I better win this contest then. Let me just tie my hair up. Wow, are you, t are you taking that seriously? You must be broody. I want a baby. <laughs> Right, ketchup. You might as well do a few for me. Oh, are we sourcing our own hot dogs now? I'm not gonna eat the ones with sauce first. What's up, Bit Army? Welcome back mm. to a video with a, a slightly different vibe today. One that Mrs. Bird seems to be enjoying, though. What are you, crusty loaves or something? These aren't like the buns they have at Nathan's. Yeah, these ain't contest regulation buns. Neither of these are anything like proper hot dogs they're just skinless sausages but that was part of the deal mrs beard only eats skinless sausages i am counting by the way i'm gonna beat you early confidence from mrs beard there you love to see it you can't even call these hot dogs <laughs> the sausage should come out the end of the bun in my opinion it's weird, I'm used to just enjoying my hot dogs. Well, don't choke to death. You don't need to rush. I've got to eat 26 to beat you. I'm not a baby. <laughs> the threat is real. She she wants to breed. <laughs> She's taking this seriously. Three down. Halfway there. Is that your third? No, it's just my fourth. 
That was number four. Yeah. Remember, you've got to beat six. Oh, I can have six in a bite. No, seven. They don't. <laughs> they don't count half dogs. Because I, I, I remember that because I was ridiculous. I was penalised ridiculously at the finals last year. They penalised me like two hot dogs, two entire hot dogs. I wasn't even that messy. Good job you're not competing this year. No. Yeah. How can you eat them with no sauce? I use the sauce when mm -hmm. I get. I use the sauce when I get bored of them. No crumbs. <laughs> I've seen people do that before, by the way. Yeah, we have. <laughs> that was number four. How are you feeling? Fine. You're not really sat in a in a in a position which is conducive to eating a lot. Your legs are crossed. You're kind of compressing your stomach. Being tactful when I pick my hot dogs because some of the breads are bigger. Oh, you're going to use a big bag for me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just spat on me! I, I should really dock a, a point there, or a hot dog. For unsportsmanlike behaviour, she just admitted there, taking only the small buns. <laughs> oh, thanks for blowing out my I've seen some dirty <laughs> tactics at the competitive eating table, but nobody's ever burped on me before. Oh, I might have to have a break after this one. I think I'm like packed. What's the number five? Mm. You're in trouble. Yeah. It's been so dry. Yeah, I'm starting to worry at this point. Four hot dogs down for Mrs. B, and I've got a lot to go. I thought you were slowing me down by giving Hey, I'm keeping this now. <sighs> Shake. <laughs> So what, I've got two left. Mm-hmm. Oh, 10 minutes 57, I wouldn't have made it. Whew. Wait a second, that's number five. Yeah, no. that's, not number, that's not number six. Mm -hmm. so that's number six. Questioning me, questioning me. This is number six. That's number seven. <laughs> <laughs> I think, to be honest, if anything. Get your hand off my sausage. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little bit ambitious, I think. It is. Always brought the big guns out now. Don't get it on mine. Oh, that'd be a perfect way to stop you. <laughs> Something with a little bit of flavour on it. That sounded like me after the, uh, the Eddie Hall Daily Diet Challenge. <laughs> you putting any more on or not? Are you welcome? I can't, I can't eat it. Well, you've slowed down. I'm, I'm kind of hoping, like, <laughs> it's going to take you forever. Oh! I'm gonna need to lie down. When I was cutting the bread cakes, I was eating little flakes of bread. I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why I'm so full. <laughs> what? I should have done this from the start, Luba Mo. I might be the only person at next year's Nathan's 2021. I might actually put some sauce on my on my hot dogs. I, I can eat hot dogs without sauce. Yeah, they are more enjoyable with ketchup or mustard rather than, you know, tepid H2O. But um, we're nearly at the end now. Mrs. Beard, remember, needs seven to win, not just six. Although, technically speaking, you said I had to do six. I'm afraid, Mrs. Beard. I said you had to beat six. And as a wag, a competitive eating wag, you should know the rules that they don't count, um, you know, fractions of hot dogs. So, um... Okay. Don't fall through the room. He's going down. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god, I feel sick. To be fair though. I was gonna say. 
the ladies usually qualify with much lower numbers. And I was going to say you could maybe try qualifying next year, but 17 minutes, I don't think that's quite good enough. <laughs> don't, don't. Put you some sauce. Fiery chili ketchup. Nice try. I'm such a boss, I'm gonna use it. Well, it might give me the time that I need to finish my last Level the playing field. You were going so well. I know, I just feel like if I have one more bite, I'm gonna be sick. Hot. Yeah. Oh, that's spicy, it's not too bad. Got some more. No. This is how close you are. I think I might pop out my dress. Yeah, we might have to uh, upload the video to a different channel if that <laughs> happens. <laughs> Mrs. Beard. She clearly wants a baby so bad, she's already practicing what it's like to go through labor. <laughs> anyway, we're near the end now. It's getting uh, it's getting tense. But uh, I just want to... <laughs> Look at her face. I just want to take a few seconds to let you know that the next video, this Thursday's video, is my first restaurant challenge in three months, so don't miss it. Catch you then. <laughs> you really can't do it. No. I can't, I can't. I have to go. Think about what she said to you. Can I chip on? I can't eat it. If you're gonna chip monk, it has to all be you. <coughs> Got a lot of debris. You should see debris on the floor. I'd better anything down there. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. You got me there. <laughs> I almost, you, you know, like five, five hot dogs in. I thought you had me. Because, I mean, that bread is starchy. It's, it's hard to get down. Thanks for watching, and um, here's to another half decade without procreating. <laughs> no baby for you. <laughs> oh. There's a, that sounded like Velcro, and you <laughs> peeled yourself off the seat there. Bye bye.